It's a 1930 Model A coup. Uh, my dad did a lot of the restoration back in the late 90s. He got it going for my grandfather, so that way he could drive it before he passed away. When my grandfather was still alive, he did drive it for about three years or so. He used to take it in parades and everything. And, uh, and I have memories uh, from my childhood of us all riding it to go to church on Sundays. My dad wasn't able to upkeep it for about 20 years, so it sat. My grandfather, before he passed, made my dad promise to you know, give it to me. Uh, at some point, you know, there's no point in having it if you don't know how to use it. And so that's kind of what really made me want to, um, you know, get it going again to learn how to drive it. So me and him got to spend some time together uh, doing that and just getting it running and then learn how to drive it. And so every winter when it cools off finally, uh, you know, we get it out and take it driving, drive my nephews around in it and, you know, the rest of our family when they come down for the winter. Just so much fun driving it, just as much fun as it is working on it because it's completely different than, you know, modern cars and what you do with those. But it's a, it's a smaller cab, you can fit two people next to each other comfortably. Uh, so with modern cars, they kind of push it out to the very limits, but with this one, uh, the actual interior is uh, a little bit more tighter. And it's got a, a lot more curve to it, so it's not as blocky uh, looking as most modern cars. Uh, so it's got that you know sexy, sleek curve to it. In the back where the cargo trunk would be, it's actually been converted to a rumble seat. So there's actually a back seat in there where um, you can have passengers you know, ride on the outside. My nephews do enjoy uh, back, being back there and riding on the outside. Driving down the street, you know, everybody, when they see it, they stop, they smile, they give a good thumbs up. I remember I had a, an older couple that was out walking on a Sunday when I was driving around. Every time I'd drive past them, they'd just get this big old smile. It just, you know, make them so alive. Because it's not just me that gets excited, but it's everyone else as well too, which is part of the fun of driving it is that it's not just me enjoying it, it's also everyone else that when I drive past. I mean, there's definitely a lot of pride um, with, with it being in the family for so long. And, and you know, I'm definitely planning on passing it further down uh, you know, as soon as I have family. <laughs> I mean, it is you know, part of our family because it was restored and started like that, but then also it's part of American history as well. Um, we have a, a sedan and a roadster that we're looking to get restored uh, here, either this year or next year starting. Um, so, you know, I'm looking forward to doing that with my dad and, and, you know, doing a full restore from start to finish.